Welcome back to War Hospital. I'm Malkuf and I would like to thank you for watching. I really have been enjoying this game and so I plan to make this game into a series. If you'd like to keep up to date with me, consider giving that red button a tap down below and let's start episode 2. After the attack, we of course have wounded soldiers which is uh, something that I did not prepare for. I'm a big dum dum. Uh, Kufi, something a big dum dum. Ah, uh, don't worry about that one. We'll go ahead and get the advanced dressing station over here, so that we can, of course, just um, treat our personnel before they just uh, disappear into the mud real quick. Okay, we'll go ahead and send our nurse that is fully recovered to the rehab station, just so that they can get other people out. And let's take a look. See. Yo, uh, okay, yeah, he's quite okay. This is eight units of stress over here. And for those that just came in, how I calculate stress is the hours of operation time times the uh, operation difficulty. So there's eight units over here. I will make use of uh, this way to actually see how much load that our doctors will be taking. So for this guy right now, he's also a one chevron guy with uh, Six cores, so we'll be uh, doing a little bit of uh, chopping. Yes, not ideal, but you know, it will work. And take a look at our workforce. And right now, our uh, medic teams are doing a okay. Nurses are just a tad bit tired. Engineers are okay as well. Okay, very nice. Operation successful, and we have our people getting released shortly. And the advanced dressing station is now done, which means we can actually get to work. So, let me pause this first. So, right now, we have our front lines being attacked, which means we have casualties. And we can take a look and see how many casualties there are. Right now, there is a total of five personnel injured on the front lines. So, we will actually need to get them from the front lines into the advanced dressing station and then to our station, uh, our field hospital over here, right? So, we're gonna have to actually make use of our medic team for that, which means our medic team is gonna be stressed the hell out and they're gonna lose all their hair. Okay. Let's sort you out of the operation ward and have you go into engineering and you out. And we'll carry on with that. Yes, no one is working the cemetery, no one is working the rehab, but it's fine. We need people to survive, so we are gonna do this, alright? We're gonna make sure everyone lives. <laughs> uh, you love the little cat window. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why you do this? <laughs> but yes, now that we have our upgrade for the warehouse, it's very nice. Now we can store a lot more resources before um, having to actually lose them, right? Which is ideal. Could actually go ahead and uh, build up uh, this thing over here, which will allow us to make use of much more production to actually produce the medical supplies that we actually need quite a bit of. And uh, I had a patient that died during operation and that is the first one, if I'm correct, that actually kicked the bucket because of operations. And um, yeah, even though with all the odds stacked in his favor, that was still not enough. Unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. And we are gonna carry on getting people from the trenches to the dressing station over here. It's, it's not doing that well. But yes. How are you so... I have two. I have two officers working 24 hour shift. To get people out of there, come on! Can't tell me that you don't have enough personnel, alright? I'm literally giving you everything I, that I got. Which uh, reminds me of the sh of the song in Payday. <laughs> I give you all, all I have, but that, that, that's besides the point. I, I play Payday as well, but... <laughs> Recently, Payday was is not doing uh, that good, but... Uh, you know, down the line, it's gonna become a great game, but... Eh. For now, it's uh, it's not there just yet. A while later, probably. I'll go ahead and cure these two, I guess. Since they are breaking even, at the very least. 
and uh, we'll go ahead and tell you to rest right after the operation and once you are done you will also take a break so this two will get treated first and then they will start resting uh i might yeah you know what it's it's fine i think that's that's good start working on any patient first because uh we're gonna have a bunch of them coming in okay our engineers seem to be okay wait what's our engineers doing again pharmacy and engineer oh wait i have requisition papers i should be improving stuff at least one so let's see at least one we could go ahead and get a shift system just so that we can slot more people in okay let's take a look uh nutrition depot we can produce more food if we want to upgrade the resource production speed hmm. i think we'll go with uh production re cost reduction first and then we'll go with uh, an upgrade in production speed so our nurse should be rested uh, nobody is awaiting for burial which is best at the very least for the best we we'll go ahead and send you to the rehab and of course you would hate the rehab when i want to send you to the rehab so i'm gonna swap you over at least don't get pissy with me all right Sir, yep we'll swap them over these guys are taking a break you are a uh, six unit of stress and you are three chevron with two resource requirement i'll go ahead and take you on we'll extend this doctor shift just for a tad bit and that should be fine should be fine uh let's take a look see there shouldn't be anything for at least on next hour yep everyone has worked their nick uh reached their next shift and for clock let's take a look at assignments everything seems to be healthy you guys are healthy you guys are kind of grayish you take a break we need to we need to do some cycling already uh let's take a look see here you guys are one wounded one disease wait a second somebody kicked the bucket while being in my ads which is what how did kick the bucket while in the ads what <sighs> why ay, ay, ay. you you guys could have just hang on just a tad bit longer and you'll be fine no kicks the bucket all right okay uh rehab station you go and take a break right now because i need you to recycle all of the personnel in the operating ward yes very good we are stacking up a whole bunch of our uh, people over here which means i might have to start sacrificing operation stability look here you have two chevrons with uh five medicinal requirements mm. i'm gonna permit you and you will be permitted but you will be amputated i'm sorry to put it that way and uh our doctors seem to be able to tank these two guys so we'll go ahead with that and this should be enough to treat both of those lines of patients and you are now healed we'll send you back to rehab station cemetery cemetery does require more manpower we'll have this unit return from up oh, our engineering send him there okay good our engineers Sir, are having coming back i left a personal recommendation made with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station and of course this is an introduction to vips and this is one uh how would a vip look like um of course there is a lot of different wounds and types your vip could come in with but for us the soldier over here is let's just read this out shall we sir i want you i want to inform you that private Raphael morgan is to be promoted to a corporal due to his exceptional zeal and valor and i recommend giving his case a higher priority as you can see there is underline over here which is why it's important giving his case a higher priority and ensuring his quick return to active duty 
So we have to send him back to active duty. So for this guy, we want to try to actually... How do I put this? Prioritize him above anyone else. So a lot of time... Uh, a lot of time when you are deeper into a game, in the later game, where you are swamped with work, if you are prioritizing VIPs, people are going to kick the bucket. Be prepared for that, alright? Just be prepared for that. I'm just going to mention it outright, okay? So, this doctor is going to be resting and they will clear this two straight up. And I think this is fine. Yeah, this, this should be fine. He'll be exhausted, but right after he'll be rested. So that that's okay. That's okay. Acceptable. Uh, let's take a look at assignments and cemetery. You don't want to work at the cemetery. So we'll swap out the CCS first. CCS personnel first. Go ahead, make more medicine. Sorry, what? Our doctor started a new shift and there's new people arriving. Oh yeah. Okay, you're not too bad. You are still repairable. Where do I put you though? Should I be putting you here? That's that's the problem. I can't because our doctor is still not exhausted yet. Okay, come here. Yes, now that our doctor is exhausted, I'm gonna have them rest regardless. Regardless of there is new people coming in or not. And of course, because of our nurse, we get a shortened um, rehab cycle as well as some risk modifiers, which is very nice. Thank you very much. New patient again? Oh boy, this is... This guy is gonna be chop chopped. Okay. I'm gonna keep him over here just for now because he is stable, so... That's fine. It's okay. You won't kick the bucket so soon. And again, good result. Unsuccessful chance decreases, which is very nice. Thank you. 48. Which is cured. Very good. Let's take a look at assignment once again. And of course, people are dropping like flies. And let's swap you over. And you will come to the cemetery to work. You will retire from the cemetery to take a little break. You will get swapped up with your fresh counterpart and an improvement will take place with your counterpart. Now, what do I actually want to pick up? Um, we already reduced the cost of production over here, which is good. Okay. Engineering Depot. Reduce the construction time of improvements. This would be a compounding effect on everything else if I pick that up right now. If I pick this up, I get more production. But of course, I'll be using more resources to produce at the same time. So I'll be using more scrap. If I use the autoclave as well, this will further boost it. So I will have a lot of medicine. But I will be running out of scraps, which I do require scraps to actually upgrade my buildings. So this is a very big balancing act that uh, I have to pull off here. Reducing the consumption of food in the canteens. This too seems to be vital for our survival. I think I'm gonna take, pick up this first so that we can work with it um, over time. Let's just put it as that. And I'm gonna say a sign but I'm just gonna let him take a break first. Once he is fully recovered, I will send him back. Uh, assignment. Medic team. Medic team is resting. Nurse is resting. Everything is okay. Medics are on the way. Okay, no problem. How is the CCS doing? Another one. Oh yeah, this guy is an amputee. Mark for amputation. I mean, um, asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> okay, very nice. Good, good. I want everyone to recover as soon as possible. Sir, we have received a dispatch concerning one of the patients who was brought in on the last train. Okay. What's up with our patient again? And of course another VIP. Let's take a look see. To Major Henry Wells, I'm writing to you with a personal 
request to give extra attention to the case of Lieutenant Lapo Lapojo. Lapojo. <laughs> Can't pronounce that. Uh, they'll be obliged if he was operated and sent to rehabilitation as soon as possible. He is known to repay kindness or hostility towards him. As I am a man with certain influence, I hold some power over the hospital. Over when the hospital will gain additional resources or staff member. So, this is basically trying to hint hint nudge nudge to us as a general of the British Fifth Army. If we help this guy, the general will be very very much happy. Uh, but of course, over here, did not say whether or not I can amputate this VIP and uh, send them to the front or anything. So yes, welcome back Zarif. But yeah, this is a 3 chevron uh, personnel which is 2, uh, 2.5 times 3, 7.5 which actually fulfills this requirement. Uh, fulfills their own uh, quota over here which is 7. So I'm actually going to treat them well and uh, there's no chance of failure. It's just that they are very very tiring to actually work on because it's a 6 times 5. Which is a pain. Which is one of my doctor will actually get knocked out. Just working with this one fella. Yes, it will go smoothly. Don't worry about it. It will definitely go smoothly. Especially when your goddamn operation takes 30 units of stress. See this guy? He takes... 15! Half! Jeez! But he... Well, to be fair, he's like 2.5 to the ratio of 4, which is not ideal. So, yeah. I'm just gonna put it like this first, since uh, they are stable right now. And, uh... Stable would sound like they are actually doing good, but... Stable does not mean that. Stable means that they are slowly deteriorating already, and I get another one. You're five. And you cost eight resource. I'm gonna have to cut you up, chief. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to cut you up. So, you come here and I'm gonna chop chop you. Of course, us treating them and sending them back to... At the very least, release some duty. They're actually giving us morale over here. Which uh, we really need morale because uh, let's just say I have been uh, tossing a lot of people into the into the floor one feet under. So I'm just I'm just saying that we might need to might need to get back a little bit more morale. Just saying. Uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and send all these men back to the HQ to get some requisition points as well as you. That seems fine, at the very least, for this one checkpoint. This two, otherwise, mm, a little bit iffy, but uh, I'm sure we'll work something out. Is there anyone else in the trenches? No, nobody else is in the trench. So we are just gonna send these two dudes into the CCS, and that is fine. And then, since I have not been paying too close of attention, one of our... Uh, Medic team actually was close to collapsing, which is not good. Engineer, go ahead and work on our upgrade. And that's good. Okay, another one guy is cured. Yeah, as you can see, we are having quite a successful run this time around. Um, 10 to 19, which is not too bad. And yeah, and at the start of this whole round, you can really see that there was like a 3 or 4 death early on, which is not very good with our dropping morale. But uh, you know what? It's a, it's a sacrifice that we have to take. This guy is just barely reaching the point of uh, me accepting him <laughs> as, a full, uh, as a normal patient. So you know what? It's fine. Yep, as you can see over here, um, <laughs> this guy will literally kick the bucket if I put him over there. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll do it like this. Yeah, very 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 soon. Um, we are not gonna be able to maintain any more patience, which is not good. We are very close to our breaking point. Go ahead, take a break before we have our nurse work on over here. 
honestly, I should be I should be trying to clear this fellas out already. Yeah, screw it. You're not taking a break. Go clear the people out. I'm not taking a break. How is our medic team doing? Just fine. You guys are doing just fine. Engineering is wearing out just very so slightly. Not good. Yes, at least clear like three of these personnel. Maybe even four. Yep. Good, good. Get out of here. I need more space or more more people. <laughs> Just like, get out of here. You're done. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Out. Out you go. <laughs> okay. At the very least, yeah, they're still alive. Okay, this is good. This is good. We are doing very nicely. And of course, you guys deteriorate to a serious. They're deteriorating to serious. So I'm not gonna be able to save them. Very much unfortunate. These two amputees, you guys are going into a denied folder. Because. Even though I want to save them, correct? If you take a look over here, this is a stress unit of 12 and a stress unit of 15 for amputees, which means they won't even come back as a... How do I put this? They, they won't even benefit us as much. So... I'm just saying, they're gonna get cut up and uh, they're not really giving us much. So in that case, I'm gonna have to prioritize my workload. So, very unfortunate. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this. And yeah, our uh, doctor will be resting. And this two right now will just be on the bench for now. That is just fine by me. Uh, rehab station. Should I send her on break now? I feel like I can clear like one more at the very least. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to clear one more. Let's do that and... Okay. At least one more is cleared. We have him settled over here. Assignment. You, go and take a break. Go, go, go and take a break. You need to replace the other nurses later on. Uh, this guy, you guys are just fine actually. Uh, not the engineers though. <laughs> the engineers are suffering. <laughs> just like in real life. The engineer suffers. <laughs> I have a bunch of my friends uh, working as engineers, and uh, oh boy, uh, sometimes sometimes they tell me their jobs are their their jobs are quite enjoyable, but sometimes they're just like, oh boy, it's pain. And starting for it was a pain in the in the in the buttocks for them as well. So there is that. Okay, let's uh, get that speed going. There is still twenty four hours on the timer for our improvement over here which is not very good okay let's take a look at our nurse is she done recovering yes okay support 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 engineer come on come on okay continuously swap them out they're still in good condition they're fine nobody's kicking the bucket good if they are to kick the bucket they have to go through my agreement all right they have to go through me before they kick the bucket. I'm not letting them go without my my approval. At the very least, at the very very least, they will have to go through me. All right. I'm not letting them go without Sir, having a moral consequence on myself. Sir, the engineering depot. Well, that makes sense. And of course, the night and we drop one morale. Not too bad. No idea, but you know. And another one. Kick the bucket. Ugh, more patient. Oh no. Um, cemetery. You can keep up, right? Yep. Let's uh swap out this guy so that he can take a break and send him to the rehab center and pharmacy. And everyone seems to be refreshed enough, so. We'll carry on and the pharmacy will now start ticking no oh, pharmacy our rehab station will start ticking down and uh, actually get our patients recovered and more of course kick the bucket but you know what 
It is the price of doing business. Okay. Okay. How am I supposed to deal with all, all of these guys here? Uh, will you be able to survive? Yes, you will be able to survive. Okay, continue to take a break and uh, work on the VIP after you are done. You guys are still good, so I'm yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assign you guys just yet. I'm not gonna assign you guys here. And of course. Who is this, by the way? This was Jimmy Norris, a 2-2 two -two with a chance of low failure. Shorter rehab or safe resource. We actually have a whole bunch of resource right now. But at the same time, shorter rehab just lowers turnover. And right now we are not over capacity, so I'm not gonna take just a shorter rehab. I'm gonna take the resources because the resources are basically gonna be kind of a uh, choking, well, kind of a bottleneck for us down the line. I can tell I can tell you that because uh you, you can take a look at uh how HQ has been sending us stuff and uh it feels like it has been starting to get less and less uh, scrap over time. Um so we are gonna have to make do with what we have. <laughs> it is a little bit RNG just RNG, I mean. Um so there is that part of it. Let's take a look at assignment. We'll swap you out of the cemetery and our nurse is still okay it's not too gray yet we need to sort you out though you are kind of gray yes i do realize i can assign more people but our doctors are resting and doing their work and of course we have one guy that is terminally ill and i'm no longer gonna ri risk it doctor please get to work i do not want him to kick the bucket because that's a vip and patient is cured, very nice. Okay, medic has reached cemetery. We'll go ahead and swap people out again. Mainly uh, for our nurse. Nurse will get out first. Uh, I think I'll do it this way. Yes. Yeah, the rehab station is halfway full right now. So that's okay. It's not too bad. Meanwhile, we have our C. CS uh, continuously producing more patients for the rehab center and that was successful very nice this guy needs to survive if he doesn't I have a big big problem <laughs> I will have a big big problem <laughs> jeez okay many teams are okay so we'll swap out our operating nurses and for you go on swap you out yeah man Okay, one hour. Sir, one hour break and we'll send them back to producing medical supplies. The the yep, take a break in the engineering depot that is a-okay. Let's take a look. You guys are rested. You know what? Since these people are actually still good, I'm gonna tell my doctor to just, you know, kick back for a little bit because uh, the stress period is gonna come very, very soon. <laughs> it's gonna come very very soon, oh boy. Uh, let's prepare our medic, shall we? Medic, medic. Is the medic team ready? Uh, this medic team is in the cemetery. There's no point being there. You are also in the CCS. I'm gonna send both of you into the ADS as soon as possible, just so that you can be prepared for the impending drop of uh, a lot of bodies let's just put it as that okay you guys will produce all the pharmaceutical supplies i need very nice indeed okay let's see over here we have vip okay vip you are to return to active duty since it is highlighted in active duty i will send them to the trenches I have not tried what will happen if I send it back to HQ. It should be fine. But I'm not gonna take the risk of uh, sending them to the wrong place. Um, maybe down the line when we have a run for science. I'll do that. But right now, no. 
And of course, here we go. An artillery strike so close to the hospital! Those bastards are violating the Geneva Convention! The cannons are not aiming at the hospital. It's at our trench lines, Major. Our German howitzers, hence the missiles seem to fall close to us. The recent bombardment got me thinking, Major. We need a specialized unit that can gather information about events outside the hospital. We cannot only rely on the pieces of information from HQ. I received permission from headquarters to commission a scouting unit. If there was condition, the scouts are to be under your command, not mine. I understand, Lieutenant Colonel. I see you're not happy with that. No, but I know better than to argue with HQ. They will send someone to leave the unit as soon as you prepare logic for them and request their arrival. Very good. Thank you for your work and help, Lieutenant Colonel. Well, the Lieutenant Colonel ain't very pleased about that one. But we will be in control of the scout team. That is fine. Okay, let's pause the game and set up the scout team, of course, which is in the scout tent over here. You'll have to go ahead and, um, let's just say, put your engineers to work once again. And of course, my engineers are already very busy. We have uh, kind of another upgrade to deal with, but, um, you know, <laughs> engineers only get more work to do. <laughs> Jeez. Sounds like real life, not IT. Ish. Okay. Is there anything else that I should be doing? I do have uh, 9 requisition forms that is uh, pretty much just sitting down and doing nothing. I'm basically doing nothing with them. But at the same time, I don't want to use them because, um, you know, I don't need to. That's one. And I could do with uh, making use of them for improvement. But at the same time, I don't have enough engineers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough engineers, so that's a big boo-boo. Um, let's see here. We have a lot of people now in the C CS, which is uh, not good. Oh boy, they're all already stable, which is not good. Oh no, you're costing me eight. Eight supply. My dude, I'm just saying. You're only worth 2.5. Oh no, uh, yeah, I, I think these two guys are getting triaged because I have too many people to actually aid. So you're costing me too much and uh, I'm gonna boot you out. Yoink. And these two are gonna be aided at first because they are already stable. These two are still good, so you guys can still like, you know, hang on tight while I sort things out. Uh, workers need it well. I don't want to get that done, but I need I need the resources. If I don't keep that production high up, I will be in trouble. And um, yeah, now that we have our medic team out, they are going to go and get more um, soldiers that are in the dirt right now, as you logically can understand. Right? If you have troops that are outside over here, that's not very good for their wounds, is it? So. Try to get them uh, into the ADS over here and then transfer them to the hospital, the the CCS, right? So that they don't just deteriorate into dust at the very least, you know? They don't just poof and they're gone. <laughs> so try to make sure that they survive. Just a tad bit better. We'll go ahead and send this guy to actually um, rest up because he's already quite tired send one fella to actually take a break and then we'll do that shuffling thing once again CCS seems fine right now yes patient is cured it's good and you can see our medics going back and forth the bridge to actually get more wounded personnel to the ADS because from the C CCS to the front to the trench yeah, that's a very long trip, so at the very least, they are in a more sanitary area. Let's just say that. Uh, you're still resting. No good, no good. Uh, his shift is already starting. 
you actually get killed and then I'll just send the doctor back to rest maybe? Actually not, I, I need to get some people amputated and clear it out beforehand. Okay, let's see. You're gonna be amputated because you cause more than what you give me. Uh, you guys over here seems to be okay. You're much more complicated as you can see from this lightning symbol over here. So we'll tag him to this officer over here and I yeah I think I'll just let this be. These two guys are less complicated and I probably can just clear them out very very quickly so that's good. New patient again. Okay um you're uh you're a 7.5 supply and you are a 10 stress unit. Five with two stars over here. That's what I'm meaning. Um, but yeah, I I'm gonna cure you. Yes, I'm gonna cure you. Uh, in that case, I will swap you over like this, so that we can get those with worse condition out of the way first. Because I don't think um I should be keeping those people with bad condition <laughs> on the line. Okay, you can go and take a break. We'll have a new officer for our CSS. I keep saying CSS. I keep thinking of castrating style, style shit. <laughs> it's CCS, not CSS. <laughs> Doing too much coding. Send help. Send help. You're requesting for food. HQ it has requested us to actually send them food if possible as they are expecting shipment delays and they'll repay us with uh, staff permits. In this case, I will actually accept so that we can have more staff uh, in the future of course. And now that we are lacking in a whole bunch of food, we can go ahead and spend our requisition forms to get the food that we need. Aha! Yes, we are basically trading the requisition forms in order to get more staff permits, which is uh, one way to do things, I guess. Um, is that ideal? Mm, not, not really, but you know. It works. That's what is, uh, that is what is most important, I guess, if I have to say that. And with five staff permits, in the case of us getting swamped with work, we can get another surgeon, which means we save more lives. Alright? We are saving more lives, and that is what matters. Okay. It's A-OK, -okay, and you're getting amputated. <laughs> One moment, I'm just like, talking about saving life. The other moment, you're getting amputated. <laughs> oh no. Yep, you're, you're getting amputated, definitely. Um... Yeah, you too. Oh boy, all of them is getting chopped up. Ooh. Very, very sad. Yep, patient is cured, but at what cost? A lot of other cost. Okay, um... To Major Henry Wells, you're writing, uh, I'm writing to you a personal request to pay special attention to get to rehab as quickly as possible to get more resources for the hospital. So there's no requirement for us to send him to the front or to the HQ. So I'm just gonna say, you're going to, never mind. I was gonna send him to the HQ, but I can't send a VIP. Ah, okay. Okay. I can't send this type of people to the trenches. Okay. Yeah, luckily the game, uh, game kind of nudged me the right way. <laughs> Because I did not know that. Okay. We'll swap it out like this then. We have these two fellas go to the front line to deal with these two events. And these two will actually go to the HQ to get us more requisition form. So we are uh, secured for these two um, assaults. Right. I should really go ahead and get an engineer. But I know that something is gonna eventually pop out and uh, screw me over. Let's get our nurse uh, recovered and have some people in the ADS swapped out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, all the people in the trenches have already been moved into the ADS, so that is good. 
Goody goody gumdrops. Okay. Anyone kick the bucket? No! 12 to 24. Very nice survival rate. I, I do like that. I want to say so myself. Yes. Good that you reached there because I'm gonna need you to do a whole bunch of work. Uh, what is this? Help to fix the defense line. Oh no. Two engineers! Two engineers, bro. That's, that's a whole ton. Um... I can't see what is being increased, but I'm gonna assume that there's morale and I get two staff permits. I need the staff permits though. Two staff permits. Wait a second. Two staff permits means that I can hire another engineer. Deal. I'll I'll take it. Uh you can have my half dead guy and the uh, recovered guy to deal with the front lines, okay? Attack back to the hospital. We'll go ahead and get personnel, engineer, which costs two. Which means for temporarily giving up on our engineer, we get another engineer. <laughs> you know what? That's that's fine. That's that's a sacrifice that I am gonna have to take. Because we do want our because right now it seems that we have a lot more requisition form debt than we have our workers, so um if we can get that fixed, that will be very good for us because if I have the forms and I have no workers, nothing get works on. That will nothing get worked on, right? So yeah. Uh let's go and take a look at our medic team. You guys can get swapped out. You arrest nurse. Let's swap out with a nurse, sure. I do need to start rehab uh sending people to rehab. Yep, very good. Okay, that's good. Sorry, what? Message re... I'm very confused. I'm trying to listen to what the operator says. Because when the operator says something, it's like a cue to tell you something is happening, right? Which is very important. And I just realized that we have uh, PTSD patients now, or shell shock patients now. For your info, how you know this? These are blue patients. These are tra these patients take trauma pills, which uh, is way more expensive. So um, if I calculated it properly, it is five. I get five pills for every three requisition forms, which is I would say it's around a one point seven. Is it one point seven or one point eight? Should be around there is i don't know mental math but yes every single form give me around 1.7 or 1.8 medicine so in this case if i'm am gonna take on this guy i'm gonna lose so much that i'm gonna be um bleeding my eyeballs out so i'm just gonna yoink him to the corner i'm sorry i can't kill you this guy's only take three okay i'm gonna do a quick check because I might be wrong on this part. So let's go and do an order and trauma medicine is three requisition paper four five. Yep. Each of them is only worth 1.8. Oh boy. So yeah, um, only those that are worth a lot will actually get killed. Unfortunately for you, you guys are trauma patients that uh, are not going to be treated. You guys are gonna be denied. Very sad. I can't kill them. Because it costs too much. If it was two, I would actually be uh, much more okay with it. But yeah, they're worth twice. Yeah, they're basically wasting a lot more resources than I can actually afford. Um, okay. For you, you are stable with a five. Return, we'll go ahead and assign you here. You're still good, so I'm gonna keep you on the table. Uh, you will come down over here to get treated by the doctor. I think that's fine. Okay, let's take a look at assignments now. ADS, I think the ADS team is actually freed up already. Yes, the ADS team is freed up already. So we can have them actually go to the C CS and usually I'll have people to work in the cemetery but um you know kinda don't have any 
dead people, so <laughs> not that I'm complaining that I don't have dead people, that's another thing, okay? <laughs> I'm not complaining that we don't have uh, a dead people, but yeah. <laughs> um, when is my engineer coming in? <laughs> okay, when is the engineer coming in? Uh, should be around 3 hours time, that should be okay. I think our nurse are uh, swapped out already so we can let time run a little bit probably until uh, 6 or 7 then we can check back on our um, personnel's um, stamina of course. If you're doing whatever I'm doing, yep you will have a lot of situations like this where you are purposely letting people go which uh, you might or might not want to do. Which is entirely up to you. Okay. Sir, so the patient has a large piece of wood lunged into his body. As, and it appears that it is a part of the trench fortification. I would like to perform an additional examination to ensure that removing it will not leave any splinters. Longer operation or longer rehab. And at the same time, more risk. Have a longer rehab. I do not care if they get a longer rehab. As long as they are not dead, it's fine. <laughs> the requirement, they are not dead. Okay? That's the only requirement that you have. Don't kill them. Make them live. Okay. Let's take a look at our assignments real quick. And let's swap these guys out. Cemetery is... Do we have people that we need to send to the cemetery? Yes, we do. Okay. Prefer not to work in the cemetery. Prefer to work in the cemetery. Okay, you're going to go over there. You know what? We'll send both of you there. Because the cemetery is starting to get work in. And I'm going to send one to the uh, clearance station. Nurse is going to get swapped out. And I'm gonna have the scout tent get worked on. Yes. Fritz, how much Fritz can I actually accumulate? Where can I see it again? I think in the warehouse if I'm correct. Yes, 2000. I can accumulate 2000. So I'm gonna carry on and just tank the amount over here. Okay, medic has reached casualty clearing. That is fine. Nothing is going on right now. Everything is quite stable. Uh, medic is on the way probably for the cemetery which is good because I want to get rid of people here. I think the train just arrived which means I should have people available right now. We'll go ahead and send... I do not care. Just just go to the rehab. That's fine. Uh, do you prefer anything? No, not really. Okay, you can go and take a break while I send another fella to the cemetery to take care of stuff. You guys are okay. Medics are on the way. Once this is done, I will be able to get the next upgrade. And potentially, I will want to get... Yeah, I would like to get trauma and chemical because uh, I got a feeling that that's gonna come in. Because trauma has already appeared and I had to send everyone into the denied power, which is... Uh, not not very good. Not very good if I will have to say so myself. Uh, you guys, requisition, requisition, requisition. 12 requisition forms on the way. Yeah, you can see, I have a lot of requisition forms now. <laughs> Even though I'm a little bit kind of a, a cutthroat a medic on the front lines, but um, you know, lots of requisition forms. Uh, too little bad power. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Is our officers all doing good? I think our officers are all healthy, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Sir, it seems that our initial diagnosis of the case was wrong, the wound was cleaned, and the shards were removed without any internal damage or complications. Which is very good. Which means I get to clear more people. Nice. Uh, to since they are clearing them out quite well and none of them have the exhaust attack i'm gonna just squeeze in just a few more people and first one i'm gonna clear him because he is very labor intensive a three and a four which means a 12 uh stress unit to take care of 
the rest you're kind of balanced so i'm gonna get you and after that everyone is gonna take a break before we handle this too and that seemed to be fine by me we need our rehab center to keep on running now because uh we are getting close to the max over here which is uh not good not good indeed which means actually i should be staggering this see if i have all my doctors to actually go and take a break correct think about this this way okay if i get all my doctors to take a break and of course one kick the bucket of course so if all of them take a break okay like this if all of them take a break right now it means that once they are uh, uh, once they are actually on the break no operation will actually take place which means having nurses on the job during the term during the break of the doctors will be basically useless which means i can send my nurses all on break and focus on rehab while the doctors are having a nice uh, a nice relaxing time <laughs> basically so i think that might be the way to go over here yeah i think that might be the way to go i'm gonna send you to to, to like take a break because uh, all my engineers are quite worn out now jeez and denied admission and they of course kick the bucket yeah 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 okay new patient arrived you told me that they were stable and then i clicked in they became good what kind of sorcery do we have <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. They're all in good condition, so I'm just gonna let them be. Engineer reached the pharmacy to produce more medicine, and of course, you who is not amputated now require more resources. If you kick the bucket, but this will basically cost me one more uh, requisition form if i want to lower your chance of death nope i'm gonna take the camera i'm gonna have to prepare for these two nukes that is coming my way <laughs> no 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 i i'm not i'm not pulling no punches here i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do this the the smart way and ensure that everyone survives no 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 okay no. you guys are done with your breaks I'm gonna produce more uh, pharmaceutical items with um, engineering working at the same time. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Do quite like it. Good. So that we can get our our uh, medical supplies out. I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty. Yes, Chief Engineer. All right. What is up? Chief Engineer has recommended this fellow over here. And let's take a look. Hmm. Sir, I would like you to di direct your attention to this patient due to the fact that he is a skilled watchmaker and according to people he traveled with despite his years si he still uh, possess an inquisitive mind and strong hands and he could actually help us as an engineer. Just saying. I'm gonna help this guy. Just... Hmm... You know what? Your 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 useful, so I'm gonna a <laughs> yoink. <laughs> I'm gonna put you. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, I do want to delay his one as much as possible, uh, due to the fact that I do not have um living space, like staff lodging. If you take a look over here, I actually do not have any more slots or engineers. If I were to order any more personnel. You see over here. So I'm actually gonna have to upgrade the engineer slot in order to accommodate this guy. Which is uh one way to do things I guess. Alright, fine. I will be doing that. It's a-okay. I will swap out this fella. It's okay. Uh is our doctors taking a break right now? One doctor is taking a break, the other one is still in operation. Hmm. Doctor is already taking a break. I should pull off the nurses now to clear the personnel before the horde arrives. So anyone that is being operated now till the doctor is back, uh, good luck. Can't help you with that one. <laughs> oh god. Oh no.
This is a uh, this is not an ideal case. Let me just say that it is not ideal. This one fella over here that is being operated on right now, uh, basically have no support staff because I pulled everyone to serve the nine patients here. <laughs> I need to get them out. They are they are hogging up the whole system. But on the bright side, once they're out, I get so much requisition forms that I basically can go to the toilet and um, use the requisition forms as toilet paper. <laughs> Which is kinda ridiculous. <laughs> but you kinda think about it. Uh, I am quite ruthless with the people that I sent to a deny power. That's why I have so much um, requisition papers. Um, I basically sold my humanity, alright. Um, but recommend it? Well, it's it's really up to you on how you would want to do it. I think I'll go ahead and send one to the CCS station. Um, when you send nurses to the CCS station, it is very very specifically just so that you can maintain the patients or the personnel. Uh, status. You can see over here, stable, 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 good. You basically make it so that their status is no longer that bad and um, they kind of die off. Just push back the time of death, you know. You kind of just push it back so that yeah, you have more time to rest other stuff. Sometimes you would need that if like you have like over capacity like 12 people. But right now, I, I don't think I need, I need to clear people out right now because uh, I can't even process them. <laughs> my backlog is uh, getting uh, too big for my liking. And of course, it is also due to uh, the fact that... How do I put this? Our engineers are not clearing out the research fast enough. Uh, you know what? No, I will not send two personnel to do with this okay yeah i i will not i i won't send two personnel to deal with that instead i'm gonna send you to deal with trauma ward and i'm gonna send you to deal with the chemical ward um so we can queue up additional stuff right and we will delay the upgrade of the engineering depot this way we can actually cure people for the upcoming wave at the very least because if i delay that any further things will go very wrong and that's not good okay a message for me just arrived major wells thank you for saving my life i hope the father will reward you for your troubles of course and a dispatch from hq has just arrived and as you can see i'm just saying it pays well to actually help the VIPs, I'm just saying, alright. Major Wells, I am pleased that you agree to my request as a token of gratitude. I have assigned additional resource, General of the British 5th Army. And we get more manpower and requisitions. Sir, operation was successful. Oh boy. Sir, and we are still maintaining a very good ratio of um, saving people's lives. So I will say that we are doing a very good job. Alright, I'm doing a very good job right now. We'll have people that is in the cemetery get pulled back because I don't think we have any... Yeah, we don't need to bury anyone. They're, they're kind of just sitting around smoking cigars right now. So uh, let's not have that, shall we? Instead, have people in places that actually needs to do something. Okay, the uh, casualty clearing station. How about that? Trauma ward is done so that we can order in an extra personnel. As you can see over here, the first physician and the first trauma specialist is free. And of course your scouts. And I forgot to order my scouts. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very big oopsie on my part. Uh, but yeah, you can order those for free. And of course the physician will order all of them in. So for now, for patients that require trauma medicine and chemicals to actually be cured i can only cure them if they are how do i say paying their own bills because if i were to how do i put this if i were to cure them right they will put so much strain on my resources that i would not be able to recover from because i do not have the improvements to actually make 
medicine, uh, the chemicals to actually cure that, as well as stress relievers to actually cure the trauma part of things. For now, at the very least, so it will actually strain the system a lot. So I'm gonna have to manage it and work a little bit of um, less than ideal magic to go around. And for now, because I am gonna prepare for the situation where uh, shit hits the fans, I think I'm just gonna, you know, stock up on a little bit of uh, chemical and trauma medicine because I kind of have a feeling that um, we are gonna be in uh, trouble very soon. Okay, improvements. Now that our uh, assignment for our uh, engineers are over, we we'll go ahead and stack up more improvements. What do we want to do? That is actually a very nice one. Just now I hover over um, this just briefly. Uh, in case you guys didn't catch, I was thinking about it, but I was clicking some other stuff. <laughs> but yes, medical drip. Reduce difficulty, which means it makes it so that the doctors can work much more efficiently before we even get the new doctor, which I definitely would want to get the new doctor, but they will take so long that is not even funny. Okay, that is not even funny. So I do want to get one thing done at the very least. What do we want to get? We can increase the number of scout team. I think that will be worth it. Let's get an increase in the uh, scout team while we, um, you know, shuffle our workers in the pharmacy and then tag them onto the engineering depot. I think that will be that will be the way to go. How is our nurses? I hope our nurses are doing good. Because they are kind I, I do I do get that they are kinda of stressed out. Right now, okay, we let's say we clear these two uh these two patients. Then we will start resting a nurse and then preparing for the next um, operation to actually cure of um oh no of our patients and uh this is bad. You are a 3 chevron, which means you are a 7.5 uh, medicinal worth personnel. I need to kill the VIP though. Okay, you know what? VIP, you go back onto the table. The This serious condition guy will have to be treated first. And... I will have you tagged in over here. After the rest, you will deal with the VIP first, then everyone else. I think that's... that's okay. That should be alright. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, our systems are starting to get stress tested already. Oh boy. Here we go, here we go with the death spiral. Oh boy. I'm gonna start the... start the resting... resting phase already. And of course, another one of them dropped their condition. No, 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 I'm gonna... Okay. You know what? You'll be, you'll be assigned after the serious case. Yes, that's fine. Sir, a message for you just arrived. Okay, message for me. What do you need? Major Wells and Doctor, thank you for patching me up and... Okay. <laughs> Is there I get um, some... Morale, uh, not bad, I would say that's 10% morale, which is basically 3 very good recruits or 5 not so proficient recruits, which is, I, I would have to say, that is very nice. <laughs> I would have to say, that is very nice for morale. Thank you very much, that basically pushed me off of, uh, well, potentially dropping to death doors, because I like to hover over death door. But that's just me. And that's the way I play. Patient is cured. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Now that we have our hab station empty out, we are gonna send people to the operating ward. We are gonna take a break before going there, and we'll swap out our personnel. Ito medic team. Medic team is fine. Anyone that needs to be buried, no. Okay. Anything else? Engineers, no. Scouts. Do I have my scouts already? We have wait incoming scouts in 30 minutes. Okay. 
So yeah, today we will be able to take a look at the uh, scout. Hello, sir. Let me introduce myself. My name is Lieutenant Isaac Hopper from the Australian Imperial Force. I have orders to report to Major Wells. That will be me, Lieutenant. Let me welcome you to our hospital. It's my pleasure to be here, sir. If I may say, sir, what are my orders? Straight to the point, eh? Very well, then. We are receiving intel from HQ, but it's only limited to the German attacks in no man's land. We need you and your men to be our eyes and ears outside this town. Understood, sir. Then, when you have time, please join me in the scout tent, sir. So we may discuss the next step over the situation map. 